In this video, I want to uh, prove or use uh, integration or calculus to find the volume of this pyramid, which is square based. Okay, so let's uh, put some numbers here. So let's take, assume that this is a square or this is a square, square based pyramid, and uh, that is seven by seven. Okay, so this is seven centimeters and this is seven centimeters. And the height is, say, four centimeters. The height is four centimeters. Now, you may have learned the formula, uh, those who haven't learned calculus, the formula is area of a, sorry, volume of a pyramid, volume of pyramid is base area times the height. It's a very simple formula, sorry, one third base area, oops, it is one third the base formula is like this. So I want to explain how, why you have to multiply by one third. One third times base area times the height. So this is the formula which you have learned, those who haven't learned calculus. Okay, so yeah, let's do this. So this is a square base. So this will be one third times 49 times and say the height is four. Okay, so this is your answer. This would be in centimeter cube. Okay, so we want to prove this using integration, okay, or uh, using calculus. Now, to understand how to use integration to find the volume of this pyramid, uh, let's imagine a slice, okay, so let us uh, take an arbitrary slice anywhere in the pyramid. So, let me first draw it. So, this is imagine, this is a pyramid, uh, this is a slice of the pyramid. Imagine this is a slab. Okay, I hope you can see the 3D picture properly here. So imagine this is a infinitesimally thin, suppose this is a slab. Okay, so uh, if you think in a simple manner, what you, you can find the volume of this pyramid, if you can imagine this as small or thin, if you cut, if you can, ab if you're able to cut this into thin slabs, okay, imagine this is a slab, Hope you can see the 3D. Uh, so imagine this is a slab, or this is, imagine this is a slab. Okay, so this, if you can find the volume of this slab, okay, which is at a height of say Y. So let's say this height from year to year, the height is Y, and the height from year to year is four. So the height from this point this point would be this would be 4 minus y okay so what i'm saying is if you if you can find the volume of this slab okay which is has a shape of a uh, cuboid the volume of this slab and then you add up all the volumes from the from the bottom to the top and you add them that is equal to the volume of the pyramid okay so what is happening is as y changes, as the slab comes down, the volume of that slab is going to be increasing. And as it goes up, the volume is going to be zero. Okay, so let's think about, okay. So to find the volume of this slab, the volume of this slab, which is cuboidal, so, so you can say volume of this slab would be the base area times the thickness. You can say this is the base area, base area times the thickness. Now we are saying the thickness is in terms of y. So your thickness is dy. This is your thickness, which is dy. And we are calling, suppose the length of this length from year to year is, say, let us call that, say, a. The length from year to year is, say, a and the thickness is dy. So the volume of this slab would be a squared because that's also going to be square. That is base area which is a squared times dy. And the volume of pyramid, volume of pyramid, this is a very simple idea but it's very difficult to visualize. The volume of the pyramid would be the indefinite integration from zero to four of 
a squared dy a squared dy and now just we have to express a in terms of y okay so so how can we do that okay so for that let's think about let's draw a right angle triangle i hope you can see this so this is imagine this is a right angle triangle okay and let me go from year to year okay so this is very difficult to see inside this so let me draw a simple right angle triangle here. so what we are what i'm trying to explain is that this is i'm drawing a right angle triangle okay so the distance from year to year this is seven so this is the center so this would be seven over two so this is so let me write this is seven over two if this is seven over two the distance from year to year the distance from from this point to this point is a so the distance from year to year would be a over two so this is seven over two i'm taking a, i'm taking this triangle out so this is a over two the distance from year to year this is y and this would be that is so this this would be four so i hope you can see this is four minus y okay now you have to see a similar triangle so i want you to look at this blue triangle this blue triangle is similar to this green triangle because two side you got I hope you can see this blue and the green triangle. The green triangle I call the mother triangle. And this blue triangle is the daughter triangle. So using uh, uh, similar triangles properties, the ratio of this over this. Okay, so let's name this. Say, so we can say using similar triangles. Using similar triangles can we say the ratio of this over this so that is a over 2 a let me write it properly like this so this is a over 2 divided by 7 over 2 the ratio of a over 2 is same as 4 minus and the ratio of this over this is equal to the ratio of this over the whole thing the whole thing is 4 so that is 4 minus y over 4. So this 2 gets cancelled. So you can see. So let me cancel this. Okay. So where are we? So we want to write in terms of a. So we can say a over 2. A over 7 is equal to 4 minus y over 4 minus y this is 4 minus y over 4 which implies a is equal to 7 quarter times 4 minus y so your a in terms of y is 7 quarters a minus y okay okay so we saw the volume of pyramid is the definite integration of a squared dy and now we have written a in terms of it in terms of y so we can say volume of pyramid volume of the pyramid that we are looking at would be the definite integration from 0 to 4 of a squared we're looking at this formula okay we have written a in terms of y so this is 7 over 4 times 4 minus y the whole squared the whole squared dy okay so what will happen so let's expand this so this is if you square 7 over 4 which is 49 over 16 times expand squaring this uh, i'd use the integration it is a definite integration of I'm expanding i've squared this and factored that out so this will be 16 minus 8y plus y squared dy okay so which is 
49 over 16, 49 over 16. Uh, now integrating with respect to y, this would be 16y minus 8y squared. So let me write that, 8y squared over 2 plus y cubed over 3. And the limit is from 0 to 4. So which is 49 over 16 times, so let us simplify this. So this is 16y minus 4y squared plus y cubed over 3. Okay, so now we have to just substitute the values of upper limit and take away the lower limit. So this is 49 over 16 times, so this is from 0 to 4. So if you put 4 here, 14, 16 times 4 is 64 minus 4 times 16. 16 times 4 is 64 and 4 times 16 is also 64 minus, this is 60, sorry, plus 4 cubed is 64 over 3, take away, and if you put 0, the whole thing would be 0. Okay, so this is same as 49 over 16 times, so this and this gets cancelled, which is 64 over 3. So, so this 16 goes in 64 how many times? 4 times. So this is same as 49 times 4 over 3. And that is same as writing 1 third times 7 squared times 4. And that's what we wanted to prove. So this is the area of the base. 7 squared is the area of base. And 4 is the height of the pyramid. So the volume is always one third times the base area times height.